you may not know that Final Cut Pro has sound effects SFX, built in. For most of us, we can never have too many sound effects, but we'll have purchased or sourced them over time, so they'll be spread all over the computer. The time-consuming problem is knowing where they are and evaluating which one we want to use, and then dragging them into Final Cut Pro. Wouldn't it be nice to have all SFX stored directly in Final Cut Pro? My name is Bruce and if we've met before welcome back, otherwise please like and subscribe and press the bell, so I can make more videos like this for you. As a bonus, at the end of this video, I'll show you how to download 33,000 free sound effects. Final Cut sound effects are stored in a folder appropriately called Final Cut Pro Sound Effects. It's inside the Apple Loops folder in your system library, and here's how to find it. Open Macintosh HD on your internal drive. Open Library, then Audio, then Apple Loops and finally Apple and there's the Final Cut Pro Sound Effects folder. Next you need to collect all your sound effects. Collect all the SFX on your computer into one folder and don't fret about not getting them all, as you can easily add others later and Final Cut Pro will get updated. Go to the Downloads folder and drag the SFX into a new folder. Let's call this folder, My Sound Effects and save it to a convenient place on your computer. The Documents folder is a good choice. In order for Final Cut Pro to be updated when any changes are made to this folder, it's best to make an alias and that's Apple's terminology for a shortcut to the real folder. Right-click on My Sound Effects folder and select Make Alias. All you need to do now is drag that alias into the Final Cut Pro Sound Effects folder that I showed you a moment ago. Now whenever you add more sound effects to that original folder inside the Documents folder, Final Cut Pro will get updated. Here's the listing as it shows in Final Cut Pro. Add music that you don't want in iTunes. As you know you can access your iTunes music directly in Final Cut Pro as well. But if you don't want your film music to clog up iTunes, you could add a music folder to the sound effects folder in the same way I've just shown you. Download 33,000 free SFX. As promised here's where you can download those 33,000 free sound effects. They're in a BBC sound effects library, but as with most things in life there are usually conditions. The sound effects may be labeled free to download, but are only available free to use under a Remark license, and that means for personal, educational, or research purposes. If that fits for you, then use the procedure. I've shown you to add those to the Final Cut Pro sound effects library. Use the link in the description below to search and download any of the 33,000 sound effects. Just a note, if you want them for commercial use the BBC sound effects are available to purchase. If you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and press the bell. You have watched and listened to this video. Did you notice anything different? The image of the presenter and spoken words were all created with AI. I just produced the script. By the way I'm the real Bruce, the image is an avatar. Find out in my next video how this one was created.